Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I wanted to talk about moleskin paper. Now, I don't own a ton of products, so I thought I would just give you a sketchbook tour of something I filled a while back. There, if you've seen this before, I apologize, but this is what I have to work with, and I wanted this to be kind of visually interesting. So, moleskin is from Milan, Italy. That is where it's based, that's the manufacturer, and they make notebooks, planners, sketchbooks, journals, backpacks, stationery. Um, this product was founded in 1997 by a gentleman by the name of Francesco Francesi, and Moto and Moto, a Milan publisher, trademarked um, the brand, and then they began the production of this product line with 5,000 notebooks. So fast forward one year later to 1998, and they are producing 30,000 notebooks a year. So this really increased exponentially. And in 2004, the moleskin notebooks were exported to Japan and began being distributed in Asia. So it took quite a few years to you know, cross the pond, so to speak, to make it to the Asia countries, which is unfortunate. But in 2006, the company was purchased by a couple different companies that one company purchased it and couldn't keep up with the demand. So a second company purchased it, um, you know, and in 2012, moleskin could be found in 95 countries and in over 22,000 stores. So this product has really grown leaps and bounds. So good job, Moleskin. So in September of 2016, a Belgian investment company group, and they, I'm gonna try and pronounce this, Dederen, I believe that's the appropriate pronunciation. I will link everything in the description box. Um, they are an interesting sort of, I don't know, they, <laughs> they're an interesting group, a company, because they also do a lot of automotive things. They are actually the official distributor of Volkswagen in Belgium. And if you would like to know more about the different companies and things that they own, I will link that in the description box. Things like this always fascinate me, but this is the only stationary company they own. So what's the big deal with this product anyway? Like why did this blow up and become <laughs> so wild and popular? So there was an English travel writer, novelist, journalist, and his name was Bruce Chatwin. And he wrote a book in 1987 called The Song Lines. And in that book, he references buying moleskin notebooks in Paris. And that kind of <laughs> helped the popularity of that. Um, there is a blurb about him on the Moleskin webpage. They still use his name as sort of a selling feature for their products. They also name drop, which is, you know, absolutely fine. Van Gogh, Picasso, and Hemingway as users of these notebooks. So it's sort of one of these legacy products that famous people used that other people then wanted to try. And so let's talk about them. All these notebooks have rounded corners. Um, there is, the paper is kind of an ivory. This is the watercolor 200 gram notebook. There is an elastic. There is a paper pocket in the back of their products. Some of the products have ribbons. Most of them do. The watercolor one does not. Um, these are stitched in. The pages lay completely flat. No matter where you open them. Let's see if I can show you. Because that can kind of be a deciding factor for people. Um, and the are, this right here is cardboard. So this is sort of paper that is encased with over cardboard. Now, um, different products and parts of this are made in different parts of the world. So these are designed in Italy and most are printed, stitched, and assembled in China. 
Um, the cashiers and the folio covers are done in Turkey. The watercolor paper is done in France. And some components um, are done in Vietnam. And I got this information from the Wikipedia page, so I'm not sure which components they're referring to. That's kind of all it states. So the paper is Forest, Forest Stewart Council certified, and I will link what that means. It has to do with how they get the paper and the forest pledge of that. The paper is acid free. Um, since 2008, all these notebooks are PVC pre free after a sort of, you know, hubbub of them finding PVC in the product. Since August of 2010, all products comply with the Safe Drinking Water and Toxic Enforcement Act of 1986. We also call this Prop 65. I will link what Prop 65 is in the description box as well if, it's, if that is important to you. Now, Moleskin partnered, partnered with Evernote in 2012 and went digital. So if that is a format you're interested in, you can get Moleskin products digitally. And there are, you know, there's writing, there's notebooks, there's planners, and this is with Adobe, Dropbox, and there's apps you can get. It is all linked through the webpage. I will link that if you're interested. As far as paper versions of Moleskin, you can get address books. There's a Japanese album, which is accordion style. It literally folds out. There is sketch pads sketchbooks, watercolor albums, watercolor notebooks, cashier journals, notebooks in hardcover, softcover, leather covers. There are reporter notebooks, memo books, music notebooks, workbooks, planners and classic and student, and there are limited edition products. So they're really trying to, <laughs> trying to hit all the different markets. Um, some of their limited edition stuff, they made a Year of the Tiger line, Sailor Moon, Pinocchio, Hello Kitty. Blick has a couple of Frida Kahlo limited edition moleskins. Um, now, through their webpage, they have some sort of artist spotlights a little tiny bit, and you can look at um, pages and spreads from different people's moleskins a little bit. Um, there are external links you can click on that send you to my moleskin which is in its beta version. And it looks like sort of an Instagram for people that create in Moleskin books. So if Moleskin is absolutely your jam and you want to find your niche group, crowd, tribe, that is something that can be done through my Moleskin. I will link that. It looks like sign up is free. Moleskin also has a charity. So Moleskin Foundation, which is a nonprofit, and they deliver sort of unconventional programs to help unlock creative skills in youth and communities that are considered underprivileged or having trouble financially. And I will link the Moleskin Foundation and their annual report if that is something if you do donating and that is something you might be interested in. Now again, this is the 200 gram sketchbook. I will link this whole sketchbook tour if you are interested in seeing this. This is watercolor pencil and Uniball Signo ink in gold and silver. Um, it's thin. I only created on one side. I did fill it every single page because that's how I roll. And then there's sort of a very thin back protective page before the pocket. So there's that one. I also have their sketch the Moleskin Sketch, and this is 165 grams. I haven't used this yet. This has the bookmark, and in the back, it has the big fold-out pocket envelope, um, just because of page count, because I tend to only use one side of the page, and this is, you know, this is a considerable amount of pages. Um, it's over, I believe it's 52 pages, one-sided. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use this one. I will link other creators using these two different sketchbooks in unique ways. I have seen people put watercolor on this. I am not sure how this paper is sized for different products. 
It has a nice little weight to it. This is what I own. I think this company is absolutely fascinating. They opened their first cafe, the Moleskin Cafe in Milan, and they plan on opening others as of 2018. I mean, they just kept going with this product and the amount of stuff they could create with it because it's doing so well, which I find absolutely fascinating. So I will link everything in the description box if you want to know more about this company and about all the different products and things because there is a little bit of different product offered on Blick versus their own specific web page. So I hope this helps. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.